What is up guys, Moon Killer here, and today I'm here to talk about the Dragon Ball Super English dub. As you may know, last night on Adult Swim at 8 o'clock, Dragon Ball Super came one for the first time, English dub, and it came one again at 11.30 on Toonami. So I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on the dub of Dragon Ball Super. Before I begin, I just want to say that it's been 19 years since GT finished airing in Japan. So it's been 19 years and they released a new Dragon Ball series, like in 2015. That's almost 20 years. It's amazing. So let's start. I'm going to start with uh, the Japanese opening and ending. The opening that they used. They used the Japanese versions of the opening and ending. They did not English dub over it. They did not make English versions or they did not make another one. They, it's not westernized. I got to say, when I saw that on my TV screen, like, I always see the Dragon Ball Super intro on my TV screen, but when I saw it, like, on an actual channel, not, like, on my computer, it, it brought, like, this feeling of joy. It was, it was amazing. So, on the 8 o'clock broadcast, the opening and ending were cut to make them shorter, which they, which happens with a lot of Tanami shows, but this was on the Adult Swim broadcast. But when it came on at 11.30, they used the entire intro and the entire ending. The complete opening and ending. It was not cut whatsoever. I do think next week the ending might be cut, but the opening might not. So that's good. And then uh another thing I noticed that uh they removed the eye catch. The eye catch is when um when anime they show a little animation before a commercial break. So they removed the, the eye catch from Dragon Ball Super, which is not a big deal. I mean, you know. And they removed the preview to the next episode. In the past, when Dragon Ball Z came to America, Japan didn't really give us the previews to the next episode. Like, there was a whole animation in, uh, that showed on DBZ for the preview. They didn't show us the animation. They just gave us, like, what happened. What, they gave us the preview of what's happening on the show, but they didn't give us, like, the opening animation for the preview until Dragon Ball Z Kai came out. I think, yeah, Dragon Ball Z Kai, they gave us the whole preview animation. So, um, but the reason why it wasn't broadcasted on Tanami because it's Tanami, so they're not going to show the preview because that's taking up time for more show, for more shows to air. So, we probably do have the preview animation. You're probably only going to be able to see it on the DVD and Blu-ray copies. And another thing, I noticed that they used the Sumitomo score of Dragon Ball Super, which is the original Japanese score. They did not use the Bruce Falcon score like everyone hoped. Uh, me, I'm actually glad that they used the Sumitomo score because now we're getting Dragon Ball Super in its purest form, like how it's supposed to be seen. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit proud of that. I'm glad. Another thing I noticed that they used the Dragon Ball Z Kai narrator instead of the Dragon Ball Z narrator. Which I don't really have a problem with. I was expecting a Dragon Ball Z narrator because they used him on Battle of Gods, but. I guess the Kai narrator sounds more similar to the Dragon Ball Super narrator and, you know, sounds more similar and anyway, so I guess it's a better it's better that they use them. I wouldn't mind um, the, the Z narrator than the Kai narrator, but you know, we get what we get. And another thing I want to add, the difference between the 8 o'clock broadcast and the 11.30 broadcast, there is no difference. They are both uncut. Hercule is not Hercule in any of the broadcasts. He is using his original name, Mr. Satan, at 8 o'clock and the 11.30 broadcast. So there are, it's, it's not uncut. Everything's the same. Now, while I was watching the show, I did notice a difference in the voice actor of Trunks. They changed Trunks' voice. In Dragon Ball Z, it was Laura Bailey doing Trunks' voice, but they changed it to Alexis Timpton. Now I gotta say, Alexis is doing a pretty good job at Trunks. At first, I barely noticed—I barely noticed it was a different person doing his voice. So, very good impression. Uh, I didn't notice a small difference, but I think I could overlook that. So, um, can't wait to hear more of her. And uh, wow, it's just so amazing. I mean, Dragon Ball Z was on Toonami since 1996. That's over 20 years ago, and it finished airing Dragon Ball GT 14 years ago on Toonami. So it's it's back. This this is last night was truly a night to freaking it was a night to witness. And 
and my overall opinion about the Dragon Ball Super Dub on Tanami, it's perfect. It's perfect. I, I enjoyed it. I watched it both times. It was perfect. I look forward to watching it on both Tanami and, and Sub. I look forward to it. I look forward to all the future arcs. I can't wait to see what they do with all the other voices. It's just so clean. It's, the animation is great. Well, so far. Just wait till we get to that episode 5. But everything else is, is it's amazing, it's perfect. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And me, I just look forward to more Dragon Ball Super on Tsunami. Well, take care.